Ciao guys and welcome back, I'm Luca and in today's video we're gonna compare the best 3 fixed ND64 with a polarizer made by Polar Pro, Nisi and Freewell. Stay tuned! In this video we're gonna test the sharpness, the color accuracy, the color shift and the flare resistance of all the filters. And while these filters are really great, they have different characteristics that you may like or not. At the end of the video I will help you to understand which filter is the best for you. This video is not sponsored by any brand, I just bought the filters with my own money and I wanted to test all of them to build my own set of fixed ND filters with the polarizer. Let's start to talk why I chose the ND64 for this test. This is a great all-around filter because you can use it both for photography and for video. And the advantage of having a fixed ND with the polarizer combined together is that we're gonna get the best sharpness, color rendition, color accuracy, less color shift and less flares. And this is really important if we care about image quality. If you think that this filter is not strong enough for your long exposure photography, you can always stack multiple photos to get the desired silky effect in your photos. This filter is also great for time lapses with motion blur of moving objects in your frame and uh, the strength is gonna be just enough. And for video, the ND64 is gonna be strong enough to capture logarithmic videos, keeping your shutter speed at the proper speed. On the other side, the polarizer filter will let us remove the glare and reflections from the surface we are filming. For example, if we have a window or a lake and we want to see through the water or the glass, with the polarization effect of the filter we are able to do it. And this effect is not possible to reproduce it in post-production. So this is a really important filter that everyone should have. In my case I really love the fixed ND filters with the polarizer because I really like the image quality I'm getting from those filters. Before I was also using uh, just fixed ND filters or variable ND filters, but I would really like to know what filters are you using and which brand you are using, because uh, technologies keep going and maybe there are amazing filters that I don't even know they are uh, there. So please let me know and share with us uh, what are you using. We can create a nice and informative conversations in the comments below. Regarding the sharpness, the sharpest filter was the Nisi. If we zoom a little bit in our picture, we're gonna notice that uh, on the rooftop we're gonna see less details on the Polar Pro and uh, on the Freewell uh, compared to the Nisi and uh, with the lens without filter at all. Regarding the color shift, one more time the Nisi was the best. It didn't show any color shift while rotating the filter, just a little bit of vignetting in the corners, that it's totally normal. And uh, on the second place we have the Freewell, that showed just a little bit of uh, color shift. And on the third place we had the Polar Pro, that had a more strong color shift in the corner with a blue tint. For the color accuracy, the best one was the Polar Pro. This filter had just a little bit of uh, blue color shift, while the Nisi has a really strong magenta tint and the Freewell a more modest uh, yellow tint. I would say that in the editing process, a uh, yellow or a blue tint are more easy to correct than a magenta color shift. 
Regarding the flare resistance, one more time the Nisi was the best one. It didn't show basically any flares. On the second place we have the Polar Pro that is showing a little bit of a purple flare. And on the third place we have the Freewell because this filter is using two layers of glass at higher distance between each other. So we're gonna have the UV filter attached in front of the lens and on top of it we have the ND with the polarization. I wish that Freewell had just a magnetic ring where we were able to snap the ND with the polarization without adding an extra layer of glass. So in conclusion, let me explain which filter is the best for you. You wanna buy the Polar Pro if you're looking for great color accuracy, build quality if you wanna build a set of ND8, ND16, ND64, and ND1000 with a polarizer and if you're looking for a filter that provides you lifetime warranty but with limitations. On the other side you want to pick the Nisi filter if you're looking for the best sharpness, the strongest flare resistance and if you don't want color shift while rotating the filter and if you're looking for a professional looking filter because the build quality is really nice and uh, is not so fancy and youtuber like the polar pro filters and if you're looking for a standalone fixed ND filters with the polarizer because Nisi doesn't provide a line of fixed ND filters like polar pro and freewell so they just offer a fixed ND64 with the polarizer and that's it and lastly you want to buy the freewell filters if you're looking for the best value for the money and if you're looking for a fast and efficient system to swap filters on the go and if you want to build a set of fixed ND with the polarizer on the same way like the Polar Pro filters because they provide a full line of filters and if you're looking for a lifetime warranty with limitations like the Polar Pro filters I really hope that this video was helpful in your decision making and if I did it please like the video and consider to subscribe you and subscribe and subscribe and subscribe subscribe i really hope that this video was helpful in your decision making and if i did it please like the video and think about to subscribe to the channel i have to use my italian accent otherwise i couldn't say that phrase sorry guys one last bonus tip if this is your first fixed nd filter with the polarizer just buy the 82 millimeter size this is because you can adapt it to any lens that you have you will have so you're gonna save money in the long term but also you're gonna get better image quality and don't make that huge con of step up filters please use just one step up filters from the size of your lens to the 82 millimeters so for example 67 millimeters to 82 millimeters don't make that huge ice creams please so this is it for today guys stay creative and see you next time ciao